Hello, thank you for joining us for today's edition of Community Manifesto. As your election command center, what we try to do is to make sure that we bring the conversation closer to you. And as all the communities we've been visiting in all the constituencies across the country, you know certainly that we want to bring you a conversation from communities in constituencies which also have a certain bearing on what you have to do. The decisions that you have to make when it comes to the 7th of December 2024 as you cast your vote for who will become the next president of our country and then your member of parliament in the next parliament. And certainly today we are in one of the constituencies in the eastern region, the Okre constituency. Approximately I'm told that there are in excess of about 35,000 voters in this constituency and they will be making the choice who they want to become their next member of parliament. And quickly, as I always do, I have to say that I'm grateful for the cooperation of all the political parties right here. And despite all the shortcomings in terms of maybe uh, just uh, the short notifications, etc., they've been able to make sure they assemble everybody at this place for us to have a great conversation. As it is, I will quickly want um, all of you here to do your introductions. And so can we start from the far end? All right. So you just mention your name if you have a position. I'm Oswe J. Constituency Secretary for the MPP. Okay. All right. And then you again, sir. I'm William Ore Kwano, Constituency Chairman, okay. MPP. Okay. Well, you, your, your surname again is Tano? Kwano. 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 Yes, please. All right. And my name is Daniel Nana Adokenet. So, Daniel... Nana Adokenet. Na Daniel Nana Adokenet is the parliamentary candidate of the MPP of the Okra constituency. Currently, the member of parliament is Dan Botre. Now, we all know Dan Botre in the annals of Ghana's political history. He is uh, succeeding him as a parliamentary candidate. So, let me also get... Um, Daniel. Daniel Eyimedu. Daniel Eyimedu. The constituency is organizer for the NDC, the political party, ready and ever to take over from the Oslo so family. So, Daniel Eyimedu. Please continue. Um, Go ahead. I am I am Confusion. My name is Confusion. The constituency organizer. I didn't get the name. Confusion. 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 Okay. Confusion. Confusion. Yes. Constituency organizer. Okay. Thank you. You want to be known as Confusion. Okay. Um, Prince Henry and Nimboyedu. Prince Henry, are you Mayeru? The incoming MP for the Okay. NDC parliamentary candidate. You are the parliamentary candidate for the NDC. All right, okay, let me have some silence. Let me have a. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so let me start uh, with you, Daniel Nanado, and Kenneth, in addition. If you take a look at the last couple of years, where do you think, when it comes to development, the indicators in the constituency that government, as well as those who have been elected into public office, have been able to identify and tackled subsequently? Thank you very much. Um, permit me to indicate, and, and it's important that I express my profound and apologize to some communities that I was supposed to be today. Okay. You today are supposed was, to have been... I was supposed to have met some communities okay. that had been prearranged. Okay. I was supposed to be in Abua. Okay. I was supposed to be in... I see foul. I was supposed to be in Nanabeni. I was supposed to be in Lakpa, a Metakobon Kwanta, a Suoko, and a Samai. And because I was just hearing of this, around 10 p.m., I had to cancel it so that I could make it. We're grateful. And, and I want to apologize are also grateful. to them. I want to use this medium. Fantastic. And I also want to indicate that um, it is not deliberate, but I have to be here. And they are watching us. Certainly. Yes. Everybody in Okre. Okay. Who knows where we picked Okre from 2017. Where did you pick Okre from? And when we picked Okre from, the whole Okre, we had only two major roads that were tied. And I'm talking about roads from Ebu to Aprede. And then I'm talking about roads from Asisieso to Trom Junction. And then you end at Asamai. Okay. These were the two major roads that were tied in Okre. In Okre. In Okre. Beyond that, when you talk about urban roads and town roads, before the only government that had 
some of our urban roads in terms of a bill, Deu and Edukom was doing the XY Force administration. After that, in eight years, Oki never saw a single tarred road. And that is a record in terms of road infrastructure. When we came to power, we have added some urban roads. We had some roads in a bill, Deu, Eukuga, Edukom, and Apred. So new roads constructed new there? New roads constructed. Are they all asphalted or no, some of them are just a mix? Bitumen. Bitumen surface. Bitumen surface. Beyond that, we've also added two major roads to our ma major roads in terms of Asamai, Lakma to Kofodia. Mm. That's a major road. We have also added Amanfro to Inchenua to Tinkong. And then the main road that we used to go to Kofodia, we all know, was dilapidated. Today, mm. you came from Kofodia. And you see how beautiful the road is now. We have repaired that. We've repaired all the old roads. So in terms of road infrastructure, we've added more. When we came to Accra again, mm. before President Kufo's time, the only communities that we had electricity were the top hill communities and the communities along the Edukom Kofodia Road. Mm. There was nowhere else that had electricity. President Kufo started electrification and ended in Lakpa from Asamai and ended in Lakpa. Can you name some communities in between? In between, we started from Oredu, we started from Atiawase, we went to Esuoko. We went to Kobon Kwanta, Meta, and Lakpa. That's where it ended. Then we again started from the internal stretch mm. where we were implementing electricity in where we have schools. So we had electricity in Internoa, we had electricity in Deu Sanfo, and all the way to Abin area. In fact, the sad story is that after President Kufo's administration, for the entire eight years, there was not a single community you mean in from Okay. 2009? From 2009 to 2016. There was not a single community in Okay that enjoyed electricity under the SY administration of Mahama. As we speak, we have added 28 new communities to electricity. Like which communities? And in fact, we continue from Abinaria and then we went to Kutiase, the NDC Candace's own village. They didn't give them electricity. The NDC Candace's where? village from Kutiase. His hometown is where? Yes, Kutiase. Kutiase. He didn't give them electricity. We've given Kutiase, Takase. We have given Obobi Ekra, Okuka Nyensi, Edukom Nyensi, Galukope, Jidokope, Akwate, Dobro, Dantuko. We have added electricity to Esifau, North and South, Okuka Sanfo. We have given them electricity. We have given electricity to Nanabeni, Abwa, Atichisu. We've added electricity to so many communities. In fact, Akwate, we've given them electricity. We've given electricity to Kwamante, we've given electricity. Electricity to Aped in Suta and then Checheku. So many communities that we've added electricity. Just, just here in Asisteso, there was just one community, Apetokope, it was just here. Hmm. They had all the lines passing through. They just needed a step down. In eight years, they couldn't do it. We have given Apetokope electricity. So Apetokope, so, they have electricity now? They have electricity. As Which year did they get, did they have it? 2020. Just around, uh, just four years ago? Yes. In Great. fact, we started our electrification project right when we came to power from 2018 all the way and we keep adding. As we speak, there are only just about 9 to 13 communities without electricity. Between 9 and 13? Yes. And okay. even that, we have done mapping. And we are working assiduously to make sure that we give them electricity. Which are those communities for well, which we are talking you can about promise Sikoko, them that they should look forward Sikoko, to? Sikoko, Efiefi, Entronai, Efiefi, Koko, and Tuntu. We have a few uh, Deveme. Uh, we have um, uh, Paul Kope and the likes. So we've given all these people assurances that we have shown and demonstrated that we are the government that is capable of giving electricity to the people of Okre. So when Ghana. it comes to the categorization, you've already named electricity and even roads. Yes. Okay, what about education? Education, super. In fact, if you look at our budget, I can tell you that about 75% of the district assembly common fund, the MPs common fund, and all major projects that we've looked is in education. When we came to power, a lot of the schools were dilapidated. Some communities also didn't have teachers' quarters at all. In fact, the only teachers' quarters we had was the one we had in Chumgaso and in Chenua. Two communities. The member of parliament added some teachers' quarters in Deu and appeared and assisted, and that was all. We could not find a single teacher's quarters in a major community. So I'm telling you that before the inception of Honorable Dambucho and the MPP, there was only two teacher's quarters in Okre. Mm. Every teacher's quarters you find, apart from 
in China, uh, Chum Grassland in China was built by Honorable Dambuchi, the MPP government, and this government. And you can name them. And those communities have teachers' quarters. Now. Teacher. We are so looking at accommodation for the teachers. We, are looking we at have a secondary yes. school in the area. Yeah, we have a secondary okay. school here. Okay. I'll come there. Mm. In fact, beyond that, we had. In fact, the sad news that the same candidate is hometown, Kuti Ase. There was a teacher's school that was started by this year, Boaje, under President Kufo. And we couldn't finish and then we left power. Eight years, they will not complete it. They abandoned it. We have come, we have completed it. So we've added a lot of teachers' accommodations to the district. We also started a one community, one KG project. We have a lot of settler communities. And you know, because of capacity and because of the populations, government will put up schools for the settler communities. Mm. But we will not understand why you expect a three-year, four-year, five-year child to walk to another district uh, community. So we have to give them cages. They are so own specific? Up, yes. Uh, pre, in fact, preschool? Preschools. Okay. If, even in the big towns, our preschools were very poor. Some of the schools, like Eukuga, they were, they were going for preschools in the church. We had to give them a beautiful preschool. You go to Mintakum, you go to Akrakojo, you go to Isifau, you go to... There are so many communities that didn't have preschools that we give them preschools. We have rehabilitated some. You know the President Rollins era, they had this pavilion kind of structures. And this the, one, pavilion, the one with the roof and with the you roof have and the stands. Yes. So when students close, in the evening, it is for the sheep and other stray animals. And it was very uncomfortable coming back every morning. We had to work hard to block all this and remodel it so that the sheep will not compete with uh, schools, uh, school peoples. Mm. Come to our secondary schools. Edutech, we, which we used to call Educom Presby, because of free SHS. If you ask anybody, they just had something like a coop for a boy's dormitory. We are giving them a new ultra modern story building for a boys dormitory we have added two new 12 unit classroom blocks and there was another project that was abandoned by the ndc which we are working on to complete and it's ongoing we've added some toilet facilities we have given the first secondary school 12 unit classroom block we have given jg nor one story building just our third story we have added a blue isis to the tvet system mm. so now we have two tvet schools in okay and these are things that are real and visible. You can ask all these people. When you go to those schools, you, you go to a bill, you go to JG. Uh, secondary schools are there. So that just a minute. So, so we have two them. secondary schools. Okay. And then the we Educom. have two events. Educom, we have three and all one right. in. Just uh, hold on oh, for me, Ian. And then I, I, I'll give also the. the, the <laughs> for the areas that he's mentioning. The question then will be, he, he seems to be suggesting that in an NDC administration, development to communities in Okre is usually low. How do you counter that as a candidate? Thank, thank you for the question. Just take the mic closer to... Thank, thank you for the question. My regards to the Okre. And thank you, TV today for this opportunity. I, I've been trying to invite my brother for a debate for the past six months, but he always refused. Well, today you have so it. this is a great, great opportunity for me. He, my brother, in talking, he had made two big lies. Come on, he, come on, he gave two big lies that I want to correct that impression. In first, he said that when they came okay, into power, the fourth Republican constitution started in 1992. The first eight years, NDC was the, um, we had an NDC MP in Nokri. Fuji Tobe was the NDC in, uh, MP in Nokri. So we had an NDC in, uh, MP in Nokri. And he said that before, he, when they took over, they were, the only places in Nokri that had electricity were the top here. That is a very big lie. So and which I, communities had it? Yeah. Please continue, please. When... when Fuji Tobe was when Fuji Tobe became the MP in Okay in 1992. Only communities in Okay that had electricity were at the top here. The downhills had no electricity. So in 1992, they were extending electricity from Koforidua to Asisiwa. The then MP, the then the then MP for let's continue. The, the then Minister of Power was Honorable Ohinikena, Ohinikena. President Tobe went to Ahinikena and pleaded with him that half of his constituency didn't have electricity. 
So he wanted them to extend the electricity to, to the lower part of our grid. And then through the negotiation, they extended electricity from my summer to be policy in 1992. From my summer to be policy in 1992. Okay. So when and which other communities? And which other communities? A Samaritan to be passing is a stretch of in Okri. It's made up of a, a, a man from Isutem, uh, a cinema, there's a whole lot of communities. So all these communities had electricity before they took over. The, the, uh, second, the second lie he told, he said when he came, there were only two third rows in Okri. That is a very, another big lie. Is that two main stretches? Two main stretches. When. In 1992, when Fuzi Tobe became the MP, he tied the come on, he constructed the road from Ukrakai to Abu. This road that they have a great time. Fuzi Tobe tied the road in 1992. When they took over, that road was tied. Now let me let me now let me let, we also started the road from uh, Asesiasu to Abonsi. They've been in power for 24 years now. That road is too untied. Because we started the road. We also started the road from Asinema to Kritiati. They've been in power for 24 years. We also started the road from Amafro to Tukwa. So all the roads that they came. So you are saying that in those areas, they started the road, they didn't continue? Yeah, we started and they came to complete it. There are some roads that they have not finished yet. We laid a very good foundation. Now, now I want to go to education. In I'm 19, waiting for you. I'm here. Yeah. Continue. In 1992, when Fuzi became the MP for Okre, we had only one secondary school. That was the Nifa Secondary School. And in Fuzi, the constituency. In the constituency. Nifa the secondary. Yeah. Fuzi said the whole constituency deserves more than one secondary school. So he built a detect. The detect he was trying to. So he the detect was built under an NDC government. Yeah, under an NDC government. Now we have only two. They've been, they been in power for 24 years. They have not added one secondary school for 24 years. Our sister constituency, Akrabu North, they have 10 secondary schools. Okay, we still have two main secondary schools. The other two secondary schools that you talked about were built by an NGO, and they are not even to up to the standard of a standard secondary school. When we come to basic education, when it comes to basic education, yeah, in the one we Fuji became you talk about preschools that have yeah, been built yeah. and, so, and even upgrading of the ones that were only roof and then you have the the, the down level for which they had to complete everything. Yeah, when, so which communities are the preschools or the basic schools that you want when to talk Fuji about? When Fuji became the MP for Okre, just for just eight years, I'm going to list the towns he built schools in. We built a school in Chechoku, we built a school in Atra Martin. We built a school in Tronai. We built a school in Sikon Sikoko. We built a school in Samai. We built a school in Yamebetre. We built a school in Kobo Kobo. We built a school in Sutem. We built a school in San Fuano. We built a school in Ochirukom. We built a school in, in Chenua. We built a school in Chumguasu. We built a school in San Fu. San Fu. We built a school in Asasekoko. As we built a school in Bawari. In just eight years. We built a school in Esim Kwanta. We built a school in Kruti Ase. We built a school in Okra Kwajo. We built a school in Mintakro. We built a school in Asinema. We built a school in Pipo Ase. We built a school in Amehi. We built a school in Asifanov. We built a school in Apredi. We built a school in Apredi Methodist Primary. We built a school in Galuko Bay. We built a school in Ewukukwa United Primary. We built a school in Asisiasu. We built a so school that, in Abonsi. So those are basic schools? These are all basic schools that we yeah. built. Eight years. They've been in power for 24 years. That, 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 come on. We built more schools than them in eight years. Now, he made mention of the fact that even within those 24 years, you will have an NDC administration that will form the central government. Yeah. Yeah. And he seems to lay emphasis on the fact that because the central government has better authority than a member of parliament, it also means that there should be a policy direction towards that development. Yes. Before, when, uh, in, and it's our constituency, we had a district in 2017. We laid the foundation to have a district since 1992. But the materialization of that district came in 2017. Because, uh, so, 
bring your team. We had an, an MC, an ODC, who was taking care of both Okre and the Kuyapu North. It was a too large a district. And the resources that came, because, because Okre had a lower population, the resources that came, only 40% 40, 40 came to Okre, and 60% went to Okre North. But with that 40%, we were able to do a lot more than what they did. What so they did so what that they was did. the intention of the creation of the district in 2017? Yeah, for us, to enable us to have enough resources for our own development. And the foundation for that district, the creation of that district, started in 1992. According to the laws of Ghana, you can't carve a district from another district. So if you want to cover a, a district from another district, you have to elevate that district into a municipal assembly. We laid that foundation and it was realized in 2012 when George Oparadu was the MCE before a quick Okay. So that enabled us to have a district in 2017. The creation of a district, we laid the foundation. It wasn't their making. We laid that foundation since 1992. Now since the 2017 period, um, the, there's a lot of development that is attributed to the current member of parliament. And then uh, also in, in sync, the, the Nanado Baumia government. That will mean that a lot of credit should go to Dan Botre for that. Dan Botre that he is succeeding. That will mean that there's a lot of work that has been done. That's, that's somebody who say, then you you don't have to take credit for that. Or you think there are areas that better development could have gone towards? We, we, well, we have never said they did not do anything in Okri. Okay. They have had the NPC for 24 years. We had the NPC for only eight years. And comparing our eight years to their 24 years, we did a better job. We laid a good foundation. And we are going to continue both upon that foundation. Thank you. The electricity that you talked about, that the extended electricity, all those projects were approved before the NDC left power. All those projects were approved in 2016. Most of the projects were approved. Which, which projects? Which projects can you lay claim to say they, they were approved in 2016? 16. Well, when you go to Achira Martin, who was approved in 2016? Achira Martin was approved in 2016. Chechekou was approved in 2016. We had from other communities that they, we had approval in 2016. But because they are other communities and they don't vote to MPP, they have still no extended electricity to those communities, even though the approval was given in 2016. But he's also mentioned settler communities which have been given electricity. I've, I've been here. To be All sorry. those communities, the approval were given in 2016 before they came to power. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yes. so, so, and when and the approvals were more than what he mentioned, the aware communities they have not extended electricity to them. That's at now, even though the approval was given in 2016 because they don't vote for them. All right, so, so I, I would okay. then go All to right. him again. So, are there some clarifications you need to do? Because yes. the last round of mentions he seemed to have counted it in terms of the school at uh, Edu, is it Edu, Edu Chrome Center? Edu Okay, Edutech. And then more importantly, he says that development also could go to some other sectors. Which other sectors have you identified that you think that development could still go? Thank you very much. In the first place, we are asking the people of Okre, please, to give us mandate to be members of parliament. One of the key attributes of an MP is the ability to listen. Because you are going to parliament. I did indicate that when we took over in 2017, there were downhills from the downhill on the stretch to Kofodia and okay. then the uphills which only had electricity. If he had listened to me, he would not say it's a lie. And I did indicate that. Apart from that... Okay, so it's not that you are giving... But rather it's we just have a over, we have We have about 92 communities downhill. When we came six about 66 of them did not have electricity. We have done 38, like I did indicate. So out of the 66, had, yes, 38 have electricity. Have been done. And then we have also, because of the transformer, done self stretch Again, my, my senior uncle, who is a Jasenini today, went to school in Edutech. When he was in Edutech, Fuzitobe was not the MP. 
Edutech was existing. So Fujitobe couldn't have built Edutech. In fact, the first senior high school began from Edutech. Check the history. So what's your point? That Edutech so I'm saying that it is a lie. Before, before that the they first member of parliament. Yes. It is a lie that they built Edutech. And everybody knows it. I can see that my colleague is a novice and his chairman is coaching him. Let his chairman coach him well. Because you see, he's new in Okay. Secondly, government, government and Roland, hello, please, 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 let's listen. Let's listen. Roland, you owe it a duty of care to viewers to correct him. Nobody can lay a foundation to the creation of district except the executive instrument by the president. What? And you need to tell him. When was the executive instrument approved? In fact, it was sent to parliament and approved in 2017 December. Okay. Before Okri became a district. So you are contesting So these that. are facts. And everybody knows. I don't know why the things that the NDC opposed, the things that they had the opportunity to do for Ghanaians and Okri, that they didn't do. When MPP under President Kufo and Dr. Ba Mahmoud Baumia have done it, they now want to make a U-turn and claim some credit. Ekufuadu and Baumia created a credential assembly. And it's a fact. How can anybody tell me? And so, when people are, when people are talking and then they are lying, we need to correct them. Um, again, this heckling should stop. But it won't help. But we can do it much more than them. We, are, we have the numbers, and if they want to heckle, we can super heckle. So I think they should take it calm. We can do it much better Please than them. Ahead. Again, Honorable Fusitobe, yes. But you asked that. We are, we are looking at breaking the eight. We are comparing the records of two people. We are comparing the records of Mahama that okay, people saw. So my candidate here is telling me that when Deu Sanfo was under trees, Mahama didn't see, he didn't see. We built a school for them. When Esifau was under trees, he didn't see it. He is telling me that they built everything in Okre. If you come to Okre, everybody will tell you that Damboche, the chiefs and people of Okre, have named it the Nkosor Hene of Epiapim. The chiefs and people of Okre have called him Damboche Semenshia. This is a great man who has led Okre So he, he, was, he, was, I, he was given the title in, by the Nkosor Hene? Yes. Because? Because of the tremendous development that he has been able to lobby for Okre. Again, to say that yes, JGNO was built by an NGO under the NDC government. They left it in the bushes. Ask everybody. Which, in, which, which was that? JGNO. It was built during George Opayado's time as MC. They left it. Until we came and we added some buildings to it. So that one was built by an so NGO see, under George Opayado. It was built by an NGO, an NGO led by Mr. Tete under the NDC government. When the NGO built it, they left it. They could not commission the school. It took the president of the government to come and add additional classrooms so that people can have access to quality civil education. So it's so operational, fully it's operational. operational. In use so by we the are not community. taking credit for JGNO, you know, but we are saying that the president who thinks for these people added some more. Again, now, when you even beyond that, because of the creation of the district, Every national cake that we share, okay, we also have our share. We have the district hospital that is ongoing currently. And it's beautiful. The, very the soon district hospital, does it, is it part of Agenda 111? It is part of the Agenda 111. Why is it located? I would love that from here. You go, it's at BIA Why is it located in Okre? BIA Resettlement Quarters. You see it. I would love that on your way out, you just take a, a, at, a show At there. what stage of construction fact, is it? They are now doing the final testing of the equipment. They have finished the construction. They have installed all the major equipment and they are doing testing of the equipment. And so the district and that hospital, is the Okre district hospital, Okre district under hospital, the agenda 111. Under the agenda 111. We have an ambulance system that is efficient. We are benefiting from the drone delivery of health equipment and machines and drones that deliver blood and vaccines. These are novelties that Dr. Baumia supported the Kufuadu to bring. And so we are focused in delivering services for Okre. You saw the beautiful environment. Even here, the place that we are sitting, it was Dambocha who paved this whole place. So you can testify to the things that we are seeing. This very edifice that you see, that Edukom, Big Six, and the town council built a damn platform for a post office and a town council office. It was left unused. It was Dambocha who continued the structure. 
So you can see physically the things that MPP have done. And, and it is not for jokes. Now going forward. But going forward. forward we have what, said that. Which areas, by way of the development, the sectors, yes. that so before if I come you that, are elected, you before want I to... Come that, he did mention that we have not connected electricity to every communities, which is a lie. I have told you that Akwati is an ever community they have light. Jido Kope is an ever community they have light. Gali Kope is an ever community they have light. We have given ever community so many electricity. And it is not by discrimination. And, and Achamate, we have given them light. Sikwakwa, we have not given them light. It's not an ever community, but they also don't have light. So it's not as if it's a pick and choose. And so the attempt to tribalize things will not work this time. Ghanaians are descending. Going forward, we have said that we are going to create jobs for the youth of Okre and the youth of Ghana. How, how is that going built, to be done? We have told our digital skills. In fact, as we speak, we have enrolled 280 people into apprenticeship and then we set them up when they graduate. Within the last couple of months, we have bought 41 sewing machines and 13 hair dryers. Today, tomorrow, we are also going to support another batch of 13 dressmakers who are passing out. And these are things that everybody here testifies to it. And we are supporting the youth and equipping them with skills. Some of the NDC people here, we have trained in catfish. And they're in my office. They are beneficiaries they of the They are product. beneficiaries of the catfish product, and I can see them here. But we don't discriminate. Okay, if we were discriminated, we would not add them. And they are here in the NDC attack. So we want to equip the youth of our crew with skills. And we are focused Dr. Baumia says that it's job creation, digital skills, giving technical skills through the defect and also apprenticeship system. And then you look at the Zongos and look at what we've done. Look, surprisingly, Mecca, and I always ask them that, okay, since we started the Mecca project by ex President JJ Rollins, not a single Muslim in Okre has been taken to Mecca on the government ticket when they were in power. And I ask them, where did they take the slot? When we came, we have taken six people, Muslim, to Mecca. From, from, from the Muslim community. From the Muslim community. So ask them, since 92, that this thing was created, where were the NDC taking the Mecca slot? So for us, we are focused, we are delivering services, we are building infrastructure, and the next phase of our career is that we are going to create jobs for the teaming youth of our career, so that our career people will have jobs to do. All right. So, where do you want to take Okra next? Why, why should constituent voters in Okra vote for you? Thank, thank you, thank, thank you very much. My, 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 my brother talked about the district hospital. They, they have had the MPC in Okra for 24 years, but Okra, they have had the district the MPC in Okra for 24 years. But a Christian does not have a district hospital. He, he said that they are near completion of a district hospital. That 40 bed capacity thing they are putting there cannot be a district hospital. I, 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 agenda. The agenda 111 of the Kufuadu administration has 40 bed capacity. What they are building here is not a hospital. It's a clinic with 40 bed capacity. I don't understand you. The agenda 111. The agenda 111. Yeah, it's supposed to. It has 80 bed capacity. What, what they are building here has 40 beds. That is not a district hospital. That cannot be a district hospital. So we don't have a district hospital. That what they are building is at best a polyclinic. It cannot be a district hospital. He talked about job creation. They have had the MPC for 24 years. They have not built one single job in Okre. He talked about J. Geno. J. Geno was founded by an NDC person. Which one? J. Geno. It was founded by an NDC person. Since they came, they are students in J. Geno, a technical school. They don't even have this. They don't even have so many matches. They are students in J. Jono, J. Jono, J. Jono does not even have J. Jono, students in J. Jono do not even have three shopping machines. I have several occasions. I have bought 
sewing machines for students of Jeju, you know, because they are, they are, they are not, they don't have access to sewing machines for their practical work. They have been at the MPC for 24 years. They have not created a single job in Okri. They talked about Ekufu Adukemi, why the street one factory. Okri never had they a single factory. They still want factory. the street one factory here. Yeah, are you sure? You're 100 percent sure. Nothing here. There's you no haven't city. benefited from the one constituency, one million dollars. Nothing. 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 Zero. Zero. We don't have the youth of Okri. 80 percent of them don't have a job, and that is why I want to be the MP for Okri. I want to create jobs for the youth. They have not created a single job. I met him at a, at a debate in May, uh, in, June, in February this year. I met him at a debate. And I talked about job creation. I talked about the one district, one factory. He promised that they have earmarked a land for, the, for an industrial area. And he was, supposed to, he was supposed to start in May. We are in September. That industrial area landmark has still not materialized. They have not created a single wife in one job in Okri. The youth of Okri want jobs. The youth of Okri need employment. And that is why they are hoping, following me. And that is why they want me to be their MP. They talk about the digital, star, digital school. John Dramani Mahama wants to train one million youth in digital in te in technology and ICT and coding. That one million jobs in ICT and coding, we are bringing 30,000 to Okri. That one million jobs in ICT and coding. We are bringing 30,000 to Okri. We are going to train 30,000 youth in Okri in coding, ICT, and web designing. We are going to create jobs. And I told you what they are building cannot be a district hospital. We the are the going one and the agenda 111. No, it's not. Have you gone to see it? Yeah, I've been there. It's a 40 bed capacity. It cannot be a, a 40 hospital. bed capacity. It's a 40 bed so capacity. it doesn't qualify. It doesn't qualify to be a hospital. We are going to build a district hospital for Okri. We are going to create jobs for Okri. So, so it means that the the referral from the coding program will create jobs, etc. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. All right. So let me just have two people from the community. So no, I'll take three. Okay. No, no, no fighting. No fighting, sir. Sir. No. Let, let him. Let him do it. The tall one. The tall one. Don't worry, everybody will have their chance. And uh, please don't spoil the barricade for us. Don't spoil the barricade for us. So get ready. So uh, to the tall one, just your name. You can choose to mention where you live here or just your name and then um, two minutes for a comment. Uh, there can be a question evening. as well. Good evening, I'm Michael Duncan. I'm in Edupo. Um If I were an NDC member. Please, please speak into the mic for If me. I were an NDC member, I would have automatically resigned as an NDC member today because you will see clearly the difference between light and darkness. One candidate can speak up it. It tells you that he knows what he's saying. It tells you that he knows what he has done. It tells you that he's aware of whatever is going on. And one candidate is being pushed using notes and even telling you that we have new school in this place. Which school? When? Telling you that the district hospital therefore uh, since Oki was created, we have never tested a district hospital. And now we have a district hospital. You are saying it is not a, a district hospital. When you had power, what were you able to do? So I'm saying that it is clear, it is evident that two candidates are here. And one has demonstrated that he's aware and he's able to do what we, the people of Kray, want. And thank you. Thank you so much. No, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, no, Munya, 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 Yes, I want to ask him a question. He you said want, something that... You want to that, ask the candidate? Yes, I want to ask him a question. He said that the standard for the school is not up to. What makes a secondary school a standard one? Because I know that Nifa... Has he a, said that the standard for... For the school is... That which the, school is that? Nifa, the secondary school is not up to their standards. He said it's NGO. He said it's NGO. And he it's said, not up he to said their not standards. Nifa. 
Yes, he said it's not up to their standards. No, no, he did. He said not. He said it. He said it. One thing I know is what makes a secondary school a standard. They have a library. They have dormitory. They have um, um, teachers' bungalow. They have um, dining hall. They have administration block. They have field there. Nifa has a field. That's it. It helps the students to do sports and everything. So what makes him think that it's not up to the standard? You should explain to us. I just want to know that. All right. So I, I take two. No, let me take two. Please note, note your your the concern they are raising. They, they say you mentioned a school, and that you claim that the school was not a standardized school. Uh, sir, sir, please leave the place. Hello, sir. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, sir. Please. I would like to speak to you. Nidindi, Roger Sampana. Dodena from it, anointed Roger. Me person will be said DC, you know, sir. DC. Oh, yeah, DC. Current DC. He's the DC. He's the current okay. DC. Okay. Me person will put it to him. Sir. Are you asking DC a question? DC command for an air you know. Uh-huh. On time in order for eight years. It's getting one DT to one party. On time in the beer of the DC to one party. Yes, one million per constituency every year. Eight million dollars. On time your product. On time your hour claim. But that's it. All right. Okay. My name is George Dankwa. But your bear mic. My, my name is George Dankwa. Mention. Men, um, Get closer to the mic. Okay, my I, name is George Dankwa. Is it a contribution or a question? I, I'm just advising the DC. I want to give an advice. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I want him to get get closer to the mic. I want him to stop associating himself with the MP because you remember that the <laughs> the MPs. You should stop. Associating himself with the, MP. with the MP because we are going to make sure the MP will take him to court. You are doing what? We are taking the MP to court. Why? Because who? Dan Boche. Dan Boche because you are taking Dan Boche yeah, to yeah, court. Yeah, I will take him to court because he was in Parliament and they went to BOT Bank of Ghana to pre system for a billion without going to Parliament for approval. That thing I will make sure if he was an MP and he sat down. For them to pay system for the eight billion without going to parliament, then we have to take him to court. Though I'm giving him a, an advice that he should tell the MP that will take him to court if NDC come to power. All right. So that's um. So the first one was here. Please, the school. The, which school did you mention? And then why do you claim or make that? claim that the school is not a standardized school. Okay. Yeah, I, I will start with the first question. He said I was being coached. Everything I said was came from this sheet of paper. No, from your speaking from, notes. Yeah, from okay, my please notes. Go ahead. Nobody has speaking. coached me anywhere. With the school, he was not listening to me. I never mentioned in fact. I said Okri has two secondary schools, okay. but there are two other ones which are not standard. So I don't classify them. The two ones which are not standard is JJ no. And a blue JJ no and a blue technical institute. JJ no is a technical school. But students in JJ no, they don't even have access to sewing machines. I have bought I have bought no, I, have, uh, uh, I have bought sewing machines for students in JJ no on several occasions. Not in so you went to the JJ no school yeah. and donated or helped them with sewing machines? No, I bought it for individual students with sewing machines because they don't have sewing machines. Every student that goes into JJ no has a personal sewing machine. Okay. The school does not even have... So and and you had to assist? Yeah, so okay. a technical school without even a sewing machine. How can that be a, a standard technical school? Okay. So what about the other school? Or that was the school you were yeah, referring it's to? It's the same. The same applied to a blue technical institute. They say apply. those technical institutes are not up to standard. And that, why, that is why I want to be the MP for okay, to build additional secondary schools, to expand our Okay, there was also schools. the first one. I, the tall guy, he mentioned why you decide that a hospital that is being built under Jadam 1111, you decide not to classify it as a district hospital. Yeah, yeah, because How do a, you explain that? Yeah, because a, a 40, cap, a 40 bed capacity health center cannot qualify as a hospital it's a polyclinic so our clinic does not have a district hospital we are going to build an age and at least 
What qualifies a hospital to be a district hospital? It, Have you gone from, to the Ghana Health Service and checked with the from, standards? From, from the, the, the agenda 111, it's supposed to have an 80 bed, be supposed to be 80 bed capacity. So that 40 bed capacity cannot be a district hospital. All right. So let's come to you. Yes. The, um, a constituent wants to know one million dollars for the for the constituency each yes. of the years and apparently you are the dc yes i'm the yeah. dc uh, so and then also when it comes to the one d one f do we yes, have yes. any factory or firm that is uh, captured under the one d one f but deal with that one million dollars yes. so constituency for if, you, if you come to the one million dollar per concert you go to a cinema market you see that we build a, a new modern open market we don't have regular markets here. We have two days a week market. Okay, so it's you one are one of the day specific yes. markets. We've done how many teachers' quarters was built under the same funding. They are funding that is happening at as we speak, Sanfo. I know we are building a KG block there. It was part of the funding. At Chemate, the same thing. And there are so many of them. Chemate, okay. what, what, we are Achemate, building a, what did you build there? Class uni, classroom block there. In fact, Chemate is one of our very deprived areas. If you come to DACF, DACF, I will not go far. The whole Educom, district capital, we, we didn't have teachers' quarters there. In fact, one of the one million uh, per constituency, if you go to Nifa, you will see a teacher's quarters there. And so that is it. BACF, when, I want to advise my friend, when you see all the projects that we have done, look at their plaque. It will tell you the funding source. If you see the plaque, you'll be able to tell the funding source. His own hometown, they will build their teacher's quarters there from DACF. We've built teacher's quarters in Apredi from DACF. We the, have built teacher's the, quarters in Educo from DACF. The DACF is the District Assembly this Common Fund. Assembly Common Are Fund. you saying that the $1 million per constituency is channeled to the DCAF? No. The $1 million per constituency is controlled by the Middle Belt Authority. And the Middle Belt Authority award projects okay. to the constituency. So, so, so let's do this. In eight years, we should have $8 million. So exactly. which but we projects have specifically are captured well, under eight million dollars? We agree that in the eight years, yes, we've not been able to disperse all the one million dollars, and we have said that. So how much has Okra benefited from the eight million dollars? So I'm saying that I'm saying that within the eight years, we have not been able to disperse all the eight million dollars, and it's not disbursed in Okra; it is disbursed by the Middle Belt Authority. So I'm saying that you asked the project and I've listed some of the projects and I've also listed some of the DACF projects. Again, he also talked about some advice that he wants to give the member of parliament. This is a very funny comment and I, I don't think that I want to even add on by giving him an answer because I don't even understand what it is that he's saying. But just a quick one. Here again, we are saying that the NDC candidates, just like the NDCC and their modus operandi, would say one thing and in a twist lie about it. He did indicate that JG No was built by an NGO. Then along the line, he mentioned that it was brought by an NDC person. And it's funny, when JG No was being built, I was a town council chairman. Mr. Tete was the leader of the NGO, which is the JG No Foundation that brought it. So that is not true. It is a pure NGO which he has indicated and then sought to associate with himself. So I would plead with him to stop doing that. I'm saying that Okre, everybody in Okre has seen visible projects. We are not talking about written projects, visible projects. And we have distributed it equally. Look, just beyond, be, beside the assembly block, you see Astrotef. And beautiful Astrotef there. Okay, we have enjoyed that. Do you, you have an astrotef? We have an astrotef. Where is it located? It is opposite the district assembly, okay. the Methodist Park. We are building a multi-purpose post complex in a blue. You can see that. The phase one is completed. And then, so these are visible projects. And we are focused. For us, we are focused. When we took Okre district, we decided to build the infrastructure deficits that we have. So that it will catapult and attract investors. And so for me, we are focused. We are building Okre. And everybody here, would, even the NDC will acknowledge that Dambotre is an exceptional MP. And he's been exceptional in Okre. And that is a fact. Two comments. Yeah, I was saying, 
What's your name? And then you can make your comment. All right, please. I would like to do it in three. So I can uh, ubet mia, ubet mia My name is Minilde William Anoche. William Anoche. William Anoche. Yeah. My first question is, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to 24 hour economy. 24 hour economy. Na me ne wo hia mpa ye okreha Okreha wo ba edukom eh eh constituency or district capital na by 6 7 8 9 no biada In fact onabu Mr. Uredu ni kurem da by 7 no biada ni kurem Na 24 hour economy no in fact so be mpa na de bebere okre eh eh ya kan say edukom Second question second question Oni ni boss ni na mo ba be de ba jina bia o say Oba, oba kete nyuma, oba kete jobs, eda ma youth, oba kete jobs. Me pese me bisa le se. Wati lo kreha. Job ben pa, no no wadi na ni aswa ma. Oba oba kete kreti. Na job no ba kwa kofe fe. Me ye. Ago. Me pese me bisa se. Me ba, me ba. Me pese me bisa orodu orodu se. Onja e dau 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 dau. Obi a ni nati. Hello, Udin. What are you from? Kwasi Kuno. Kwasi. Kwasi Kuno. Kwasi Kuno. Asma ya pesa bisha no. One TV three four ya damasi. Sani ya mawe ya huu biwa hada. Ebi anu anu mi anu kure boma ha obi a kana jene. Party ye obi ba kwa obi ba kwa ba. Ni adi kana no. Ye misa me brother say. Onche me job ba kope me pe mi. Why are DC any candidate? DC. Onche job ba kope. Pe na Ghana on sezi aso ne wafa. On the dollar no. I do a he sezi a dollar ya he. Okay. Two pizza no. E juma be no ma ya na sezi a no dollar ne ya. Dollar eh ya he. Me ye. Okay. Fool me ya drive ni me ye ye. Me a driver ni me me nima juma biya ti fuel fuel ane so odi a dua he na yensu ya fana he. Okay. Ago ba ni fu ma shemu. Ya fra say. Ba jo fra me kwabra la bi. Huh? Kwabra la bi. Me do kwabra la bi. Kwabra na. Me kwa shiwe koma onabu dizi. Who be saying the question? Be what do you question? No. Question. Question. Pena me be saying no do you. One question is one million dollars. No. This is on paper. We need to. The only one we need here. Me don't ask. All right. First question. That there was a constituent wants to know how would you explain the 24-hour economy policy, and then how your constituency, if you should win, will benefit. When the, he said, the, uh, the questioner said, by 8 p.m., everybody is asleep in Adipo. He said that's the norm here. Yeah, the norm here. The, everybody goes to bed early, but they have not created any job in our country for 24 years. When there's no job, everybody goes to bed early. And when you create jobs for them, when there's something for them to do, people will stay up and work. The 24-hour economy policy, that they said... Continue, please. They said one district, one factory. We didn't see their factory. The 24 hour economy policy. We are going to go into agro processing and agro industries. We are going to build factories in Ukraine to create jobs for the youth. We, we, we plant mango in Ukraine. We grow mango in Ukraine. We grow cassava in Ukraine. We grow palm fruit in Ukraine. We are going to go into industrialization. We are going to process all these raw materials into finished and semi finished goods for exports. That's how we are going to create jobs for the youth of Ukraine. All right. Somebody want to, I don't know which one you want to take first. Take they, they, see, they said they one million that dollar. the I'm understanding going, of your uh, explanation. Let me, let me just, for let me the just one say million this. If you come dollar. to Ukraine, we have constructed a Samai Lapa at Chichisu Agavenia Kofodia Road. How much is it? We have constructed a road from Trom Jansen, Edukrom. I don't understand to, you. No, he, he's talking about $1 million. Are I'm you saying, please, please. Are you saying that the funding sources. Please. Please, 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 please. If you even look at to sink $8 million in Ukraine, I'm saying that 
the government had invested over 200 million in terms of road infrastructure and all in Okri. So it is even beyond eight million dollars. And that is a fact. You came on a beautiful road. So the government said that we are giving money to Middle Belt Authority to look at the challenges and then implement. I mentioned education facilities, I've mentioned a chip compound, are you, are you I've roads, that and I've mentioned roads Mr. as well. DC, and so I'm saying that parliament. You Please. are explaining. I'm your saying constituents that. want no, no. Yes, yeah, so I'm telling Please. them Please that. Listen to me. Your constituent wants to know. He says that you gave an explanation to the allocation linked to the project for one million dollar per the constituency. Are you saying that because this one you are compelling me to ask? Are you saying that when a road is constructed in a community in Okre, we can use the quantum? Or the amount of money to say that it is coming from the one million dollars so i'm absolutely. asking you which road draws its source of funding from the eight million and and that is why i'm saying that beyond that I, i'm, I'm, I'm asking coming, is I'm that coming, what coming, you are I'm saying so that. that we conclude yes I, I i was you you have to you catch me that i'm saying that the investment that has gone in okay is beyond eight million dollars and that is a fact again we have the drip machines that we just received it when please and this one tv3 i want you to capture it and it's just right here we have received graders we have received rollers we have received water bowsers we have received backwards we have received tipper trucks we have received two concrete mixing machines there's an allocation of money for fuel these are all part of this set aside monies that came from the district assembly common fund and so i want to assure my constituents that these allocations that government indicate, indeed, okay, I can speak to okay and okay. There's somebody who has a question about jobs. He said, which specific Again, jobs I, have been I created? I did indicate that 282 people have been given jobs in terms of uh, hairdressing, in terms of dressmaking, in terms of welding, in terms of um, fitting uh, auto mechanics. 282. It is on record, no district assembly in their history, when we're even a municipality, was able to do that. Beyond that, we have also employed 13 indigents, in, and we trained them in the school of hygiene, sanitation, to become sanitation officers employed by the local government. So, 13 indigents from the area? Yes. They graduated from the school of hygiene? Yes. And they are all going to be employed. These are employable skills. Again, never in their history that people from Okre and we are talking about about 89 persons from Okre have gained recruitment into the armed forces, the police service, and all that. These are record high. We have records here that during their time, issues came and even ended. When you go to Okra Kojo, we built Okra Kojo State Farm. For 37 years, Okra Kojo State Farm had died, collapsed. We brought it back and we have employed 220 people in Okra Kojo and Amanfo. He should do the match. Go to Baware, we have created a community farm at Baware. We have employed 110 people at Baware. Do the math. Go to Abonse, we have employed 72 people at Abonse and a community farm. Just this very Tuesday, we have enrolled 120 people at Ukuba for a community farm. Let him do the math. As we speak, as we speak, there is a 200,000 bed capacity poultry farm that is ongoing at uh, uh, go to Lakwa, and it is there. So, what are they talking about? I have indicated that this PC he is new, he doesn't know the constituency, he doesn't know the communities. You see, his chairman coaching, and so he's not on top of the issue. Okay, it's the fastest growing district in this region, and everybody can attest. And TV3 as a compensation for ambushing us, let's plan and come on a full day tour to see and document the project that okay we have done so please i want my pc to come in the other day in a prayer at a question i told him that his chairman is experienced and his chairman is my colleague he should come so that we train and groom him in the politics of okay so that he will know the things and the issues that is happening these things will not help him at all all right so Wait me, Akasa. Uh, yeah, my patron, um, I'm Emmanuel. Emmanuel. This team made mention of uh, 13 indigents who has been sponsored. Seriously speaking, I'm a beneficiary. Yay! Yes, yeah. I am. And then my question is, there is this issue. Uh, 
Mr. Redu, please uh, let me have your yes here. No, just ask the question. All right. Mm. There is this issue against you during your parliamentary primaries by your own party members that you've lit your father's filling station. That after, after, please, please, after, after, after that, after that time, uh, uh, when you are being elected, when you are being elected, as an MP, what you will not get, my own is an advice. It's an advice. No, they, let's 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 not let's no, not no, go. No, no okay. personal. It's no, an no, advice. No. You know, no. I, I had an land. experience. Let me, I, let, I had... me land. let me land. No. You get me right. Okay. Let me land. It was leveled against him by his own party people, which I'm advising them. I'm advising the NDC people not to level such issue against him. If not. It is going to go against him in his next future. So you are advising them? I'm advising him based on the question that if you should do this as a leader, that you claim okay, people should vote for you. How do we have okay. trust in so, you? So let me be specific. Yes. Let's not be very personal yes. in terms of attacking individuals. No, no, no. It's an advice. Anybody can go and take an issue from somewhere. Politics doesn't My mean own that. is an advice. It's an advice. Thank you very much. It's a, Thank you it's very an much. Advice. Please, the next person. It's an advice. Who, who, oh, hey, who wants to comment hey, next? Who is commenting next? Hello? Yeah, my name is Emmanuel. And thanks for the opportunity. Um... Please allow me to speak. No, you are allowed to speak. The mic is open, uh -huh. so talk. Um, I want to, I want uh, Mr. Oredu to answer this question. His boss, that's the former president, John Dramani Mahama. He keeps mentioning the fact that when he comes, he's going to review the free SHS. I want him to tell me specifically which aspect of the free SHS he's going to review. He's the best person to speak for, for him or to speak on behalf of him. So he should tell us which aspect of the free SHS are they going to re review. And secondly, he's talking about creating employment or jobs for the team youth of this community. And for, for, the, for that matter, the whole of Okre. Which specific jobs are they going to create? His boss is on record to have said that four years is not enough for a president to, uh, to govern a country. He's coming for the next four years. If, if God forbid, you should get the, 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 the opportunity to come and rule again for four years. Is he sure? That is going to implement all these things you are going. To, they are talking about. Are they going to implement everything in this four years? The next four years. That's my question to you. Two, two more. Please, have you noted the free SHS review? How is the party intending to do that? And then, hello, hello. hello. Please mention uh -huh. your name and go ahead. Patro, you're from Alex. You're from uh, Alex. Patro. Um, my question. I am here, sir. I'm the person who said this. Uh, yeah, okay, um, auditor support now. Uh, yeah. One project, a uh, war. Uh, I uh, didn't support. Auditor support. Uh, one project, a war, a cinema water force. A uh, yeah, uh, beach soccer pitch. No, yeah, yeah, no. A uh, course, okay. Any taxpayers' money, over 5 million Ghana cities. The project has been abandoned. And to me, person, me who. The status of that project. It's in the Auditor General's report. Yeah, and which project is that? Which community? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Beach uh, uh, Park. This is our band. And the Hockey Cake. Across the district, no. And across the taxpayers' money. Over 5 yeah, million. Auditor dollars. General's report, no. Uh, yeah, which year? Me Pacho, last year, dear. Yes. 2023. Me Pacho, second one, Pesce Mibusa. Uh, yeah, COVID money. Okay, COVID money. Uh, the COVID, COVID, COVID is sicker. COVID is sicker. COVID is sicker. Okay, okay. 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 there no. Uh, there, uh, yeah, there. Uh -huh. COVID is sicker. COVID, COVID, okay. COVID. Yeah. Yes, COVID is no. COVID, okay, there no. There no, there. Uh, and a cinema for say. A cinema. And the uh, uh, village is now what? Uh, be passing down how many now? How many lights? Empty. You pass here who? Ada, community is paying. I know money light. Ata bebre, bebre. I go and go see safari. Okay. I have money. I have money light. Ana Oshanswa safari ni one of the most important employers in the district. I employ over 500 indigents. Ewa ha. Okay. Ada na. Okay. Also the target now support. Ewa. 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 Ewa.
Eti me anu pe na pesa me hu. All the time general a project be na na wo. Ya me kan here, ya me kan here. Okay, okay. Omo ye se, omo si beach park. E dey am here near the here tourism. Is that beach park you are creating here? Yes, near the here tourism. I want this with me. And I will say the other time general say. Si si akọ onu ma, ukọ onu ma. E ye nwa e nwa. Okay. Right. And, and, then, then, and then the electricity for the communities, yes. and, and then the COVID money. But your friend will see you again. But your mission is done. Was it last year? Was it last year? Was it last year? Who person? Uh, which paragraph or which sector? About the misguided Alex, no way. Alex, no way. But not this is a bad program. After tech and so this is can only do so by program. This is a offer man on your program. You say Astro Tech from Usiano. Now candidates are based on their program. I say offer man on the Aquayo and the tech. Anna, you two be such a young pan as a young pan, Anna. If me 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 this is a what I can't simply say on work it on my wall or create a duplo mada. Oh, yeah, but the DC at the third time at 20 years. What Jama a duplo mada now? Also, the day of a over here, we jam I for women. Twenty years old demands open. Also, over a town council chairman, town council chairman. Oh, yeah, not over here. Presby, I saw that one. Or the man, I'm going to for twenty years. What job do you come on my own? But I'm not going to say me pray be busy. Or by or assembly. But one this is one fact is can one more. But what's your book on time on my own? So what man go on a contama? I do from my dear, hold me hand the okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh-huh. I, I would like to first respond to something he said before I answer the questions. He said that you know, from the eight million cities, eight million dollars that they've received, the one million dollar per suite a year. They boot per roads. Constituency. Per constituency. They boot roads. Mm -hmm. Okay, he, he said, says that please note it down. Note it down. He, no, he said they from that money they boot roads. And that, so I he said. So this is what he said. He says it is disbursed through the various um, authorities. So we have coastal, middle belt, and then we have the northern development authority. So uh, Okra is captured under the middle. Okay. So what, what I want to what I want to know is that when the central bank, when the central government award the contract for a road, it comes from the district as one million per constituency. Okay. That's that's what I want. I to also know. ask the same yeah, question. Yeah, sure. And another thing he said was. The machines they have, they have received right now. The drips. The drip. The drip machines. Yeah, it's from the one million per district. And let Dr. Baumia said, they raised the money to buy those machines. So is he calling his right brother a liar? <laughs> now, let, let me... I don't under... Now, let me go to their questions. The, the... Go ahead. The, the, the guy said... He has the district has sponsored 260 people in various trade and another and then additional 30, 30 people for hygiene yes, and other yes. social work. In five years, that became the DC. I became active in politics for the past less than two years. In less than two years, active politics at the moment. I have sponsored more than 260 people in education and employment. So if the district has done this. Not done anything. So you mean that no. if you were in office, you would have done more? No. Another, another question. The, the, another question they raised was at least almost saying my leasing my papa filling station. Now made the year campaign. Did you did you lease your father's filling station for a campaign? Me, 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 me papa Barbara. Me papa or Barbara. Me papa or Barbara. Oh Jamie filling station. Some my towo. Some my tio. Some my yamo. Ni amri be yebiya. And your yamo filling station. It's my own filling station. Nobody ever can to go. My father, my father, my father lived a distant life. My father lived a distant life. He left me a fuel station. Whatever I do with the fuel station, it's my own business. So your father lived a decent life. Whether you, whatever you do with the property bequeathed to you, it's your no, own. Personal, All right. Now, now let me 
free HSS, how we are going to review. Yes. They said yeah. that at the national level, it is even in your manifesto, you intend reviewing the free SHS policy. Yes. So a constituent here wants to know, what sort of review do you intend to do? When the Kufuad wanted to establish free HSS, we told him that Ghana does not have that money for wholesale implementation. So we should do it progressively because we don't have that money. We all know the burden free SHS has created for Ghanaians. We all know what our parents go through. I have, I have a sister in secondary school. I have to provide for books, for everything, for his everything, everything. We all know what. So what we are going to do? We are going to establish a sustainable funding method for free SHS. Just like we did with Get Fund. That is what we are going to do. We are not going to borrow money for a, for a social project. You don't borrow money for a social project. That is against economic theory. We are going to establish a sustainable mode of financing for free second industry projects. All right. I mean, another, another question is, how am I going to create jobs for the youth of Okay? Yes. Yeah, I've answered that question already, but he did it. When he, my brother was asked about... There was one Emmanuel, he yeah. came to ask... When my brother was asked about the free, one district, one factory, he, he always dodged that question. He couldn't answer. We are going to create factories in Okay to create jobs for the teaming youth of Okay. That's how we are going to create jobs for Okay. All right. Okay. So, again, again, Roland... I will repeat that an MP must be able to listen. I didn't say we have created 282 jobs only. I gave categories. I said we have put, created 282 jobs in skills apprenticeship training and we have set them up. Okay. That was one. I said we have employed 110 in the community farms in Abaware. I said 70 people have been employed in community farms in Abonse. I said 210 in Amman for put together. This is a district only. So at the district level, by the district assembly, we have employed 672 jobs. And I gave the categories. And I didn't even indicate that right now we are adding the catfish training, about 50 of them. And there was this NDC lady, Janet, who was here making noise. You said you're who adding was how many more? 50 people in, in catfish, which area? In catfish, catfish. And there was this NDC lady, she was here, making all the noise. Meanwhile, she was part of the training, the people who trained, somebody that were going to start there who has benefited there. from it. You understand? But they are here making noise. So I'm saying that for us, we do not discriminate. We create their jobs and we do everything. And I'm mentioning them. So I'm not saying that this is what we have done. Okay. If we are talking about individual and personal capacities, that's a different matter. We are here to represent the people on the government capacity. I will not sit here and tell you what I have also done for individuals. But they are here and they can testify. But so you're saying individual for individuals, issues. you've also done some. Exactly. Okay. But we are here to prove to what we can do There's a, for the people. He, he, Again, he said you should clarify the, the $1 million thing. I did indicate that the investment that has gone on in Okre is more than a $1 million. And then I cited the examples and indicated even the roads that have happened. And that is the statement that I made. You know, the, 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 that, 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 so, that response that you give. So I, I ask that the specific $1 million per constituency per annum, which projects have been beneficiaries? And I mentioned a cinema market. Okay. I mentioned roads. You did, you did. I mentioned Amahi teachers' quarters. I mentioned water facilities and all that. So this is a fact. Again, let me clarify this a cinema market thing. Asima Beach. It is not true. Which market? Asima Beach Soccer. It is a novelty of the district assembly. Okay. And my so initiative uh, as to a leverage DC on tourism. In the district, you initiated to leverage the... on tourism in Okre to create jobs. And we do the pilot project in 2021. If you like today, go there and see what we are doing. They can't see it. It was a pilot. And then we gave the site to the road contractor. So that the road contractor can set up his field so that he can work. Never, and I challenge him, never in any auditor, in any case, Roland, five million cities, okay, district, the whole year, how much is our common fund? The whole year. How much is your common fund? The common fund is just a little bit close to a million. Okay. So in five years, and we are six years, and we are yet to... So the intent of the project is to uh, invite private... Exactly. It's a pri private PPP. 
the project. investment. Uh, yes, but I'm saying that. So build, operate, and transfer. Exactly. Something but like I'm that. even saying that the whole district, in five years put together, our money will not even be up to what he's saying. So you see, the NDC comes here and wants to tarnish people's age by fabricating lies. But we will be focused. Dr. Baumia says that when he comes, he is going to create digital class tales and employ the youth. When we came as a district, Okri was not attractive enough to draw investment. Our roads were bad, our electricity was poor, we did not have good health facilities and all that. And so to be able to mold Okri, we have laid the foundation by giving ourselves a hospital. A hospital that he claims that is not a hospital. I don't know what you want to say. When they came to power, he says that they are going to review the free SHS by getting sustainable funding. It's funny. This same government said they were going to give one-time premium for the health insurance. And that they were going to get sustainable income to fund one-time premium. What did he do? So, the Please same president, Mahama said that he is not a magician. Listen carefully. John Mahama said he is not a magician to give jobs to the youth or people. Today, is he a magician? The same John Mahama said that he will put his presidency on the line. And if he had a million cities, he will not put it in free SHS. Now, what has happened? Is he making u turns? Are we calling him the u turn Mahama? The same person indicated that, as for him, when he comes, he is going to create employment. Yet, he cancelled teachers' allowance. He cancelled nursing training allowance. We were in doom so for close to five years under his presidency. When Atamil died and left the president for him, he could not handle. So I am saying that this is not a trustworthy man. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the digital man, the drone man, the one district, one hospital, one ambulance, one district, the drip project. He is a man we can trust to build Accra, to build Ghana, and create jobs for the youth. Thank you. Ima, your question was answered. You are not satisfied with his answer. I even mentioned your name. That there was Ima. You are Ima. But you are not. Listen. You are not two question. Two specific questions. What's the he, second one? He intentionally dodged my question. What? what you are intended to tell him to answer my question. I asked him. His boss is the uh, former president. Which part of the free SHS are they going to review? He didn't answer the question. Again. 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 You can make the noise. You can make the noise. Okay, you can so, make the noise. Again. So. So. Again. No, Ima. Again. So we were here. Your first question. My, I posed the question to him. Okay. He responded to the question. If you are not satisfied with his response, that is your no, opinion. It, it, and then the second one. Satisfaction, and he so, not asked the question no, at all. No. So, so that's we a clear all, difference. No, listen. That's so a we clear all ask questions. He answered my question without my satisfaction and not answering so, my question at so, all. So your rebuttal is that you are not satisfied with his yes, question. Yes, he didn't answer it. You okay. should answer Give it. Give the mic to somebody else. Please, your name. Your name. Mini uh, Roland. Victor Listowell. Victor Listowell. Listowell. Oh, he's not Oh, he's not going to listen. Very good. You're here. 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 you are Okay, so, so I think he's here, he will respond to it. But you so you want him to respond to that. Yeah. Okay. I think so, we were here. What he said was that whatever it is that please, is that don't try to explain. No, 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 no. So I'm, I'm don't try to so he's here. I'll let him respond to it. Yeah. yeah. Don't okay. try to explain for him. Okay. So no, no, no. 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 Okay, point two. Okay, point three. Okay, point three. district. Okay, district. I believe you. One more district. Last minute. Oh, Pablo. Pablo, Baba Coro. I'm going to campaign. I want to go to the park. I said, you can't get your cancer. Sanka Fuzi Waha. Fuzi Waha. And I'm going to district. And I'm going to 
Company that. And then, you are in this street. You are your hospital. We will see. Hospital, no. It's not up to standard. It is the standard in the NIA. The standard of hospital, no. And then, NIA. Bypass. 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 Road, 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 bypass, road. Bypass. Bypass. Road. Road bypass. Aparado. Me, my micro. Pablo. Pablo, my micro. Aya Ukuba. Bypass, you know. Now, I'm a mammoth fisher. Well, Musuda. Dambot and a buyer. And a big goose. Papa, me, Bissano. The temperament. I was so do. Temperament. Temperament. Nakuma. I was so do. It is said, it said. On any papa. A young toka. I'm a born papa. Can he explain? Say, young papa. So, born papa. And now, I'm money papa. And son, what say? What's your idea? Can he explain? On any papa. Can you explain to us? Say on any papa, any friction, or born papa soon, a yampa, and a yampa. Because not any papa jump out here, your pen out here. Yampa or mine, I said, I'll be to me a boy and some. Daniel, Nanado, and I'll be to me a boy. But that's it. Ah. Who be saying no dollar? Okay, okay. What's the o dollar question? No dollar. And I, all right. Okay, I'll answer. Cause a good mic, cause a good mic. Who be saying this idea? Okay, Maka Maka question. No, right, right. Okay. Boss, 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 yeah, 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 I, I, I've got, I've got to your question, no, 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 it's okay. Let's say, Dwala, Naya, eh, Fuwa, Naya, eh, you, 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 you made mention. You want him to answer you what's the cost of dollar, no, 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 you have to. Bend the mic, bend the mic, yes, your name. No, you, you, yes. Kasa, bend the mic, no, bend the mic, yes. Udin, Udin, Kasegu Mike. Okay, please can you hear me? Hello? No, Kasegu Mike. Okay. Um, he, he, um, he made mention of go job creations. And talking about job creations, I would say it's something we are really like. Hello? 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 Casa, casa. Okay. So he spoke of job creations. Casa, good mic in the middle. He spoke Be of job creations and concerning that. In terms of job creation. In terms of job creation. If you live in this community with us, they all bear with me that job creation in this community is very. So there are poor. no jobs in the community? Not at all. Okay. I, for instance. You, for instance. I, for instance. Most of them here. From a prayer to a brew, they all know me. From a prayer to a brew, everybody knows they you. They know me. He knows me. He knows me. He, and he also one, knows you. They okay. all know me. And they know what I do. And they know what you do. Yes. And for instance, I've been to his office about three times. You've been to his office for about three times. Three times. Ask him. I've been to his office about three times. When I see him outside, I talk with him concerning my job in particular. That you want they, a job. No, I don't want to. I get the job myself. Okay. But then I needed his assistant or the district assistant. You I'll you seek his assistant for what? Concerning my job. Okay. What the job are you involved the, in? The reason why I do nails. Okay. And I carry it. You are into cosmetics. Yes, please. Cosmetology. Okay. Yes, please. They all know me, and I will still emphasize on that. The job that they are talking about, it is very poor here. From a prayer to a brew that I know that I walk around, a lot of the youth does not work. When I go out, I see them, and they are very much aware. No, see, they are not speaking the truth, and it hurts me. Okay, if you speak the truth, that the good things will come to when you. When you speak the truth, they don't the want you to say the truth. The, the good things will come to you. You are denied of certain things. What is the use of a road to an angry man? 
a woman who cannot afford two square meals for his children and herself. It hurts a lot. So your opinion is that there are no jobs in the community? There are no jobs in the community. All right. And please, I have another one. Prince Henry, it has been barely six months that I have known him. He has helped me in terms of capital. He's very helpful to you. Yes. Your parliamentary candidate. I've been to his office. Ask him whether he doesn't know. I've been to his office. He will always tell me, come and find what come. Come and find what come. And it does never come. So they are most of them are not working. And they are denying the facts. Okay. Most of them are not working. So there are no jobs here in there are Congress. no jobs. The youth need jobs. Yes, they Please need don't push jobs. away. Please. You you have spoken already. Raise the mic, raise the mic, raise the mic. Who went to me, Kasa, Kasa, Kasa? My patron, I am honorable. I tell you, you pen on person in Bissano. Yeah, yeah, police station now, yes, you are all. Yeah, by I am Mr. Boa, former interior minister. It's the police station, you are. You know, a police phone, a boy, I'm buying. A boy, I'm a boy, I'm I must be busy assemble for fair fair. Now, me be sad, sir. But the police found it down, or no, I don't know, I found. You are talking to me. Uncompleted. Yeah. Because a good mic, and why? Uncompleted. Oh, yeah. Defeat police station, you know. Ah yeah. I'm over here. I'm also district assembly prepared. Now baby, ah, your policy for the bad guy no. Ah, I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh, criminal. You do baby, I'm not policy for no. I'm over here. Now most of my person, my better now. Because I'm over here. Accommodation, eh, very poor. Now I'm over here. Eh, Mr. Boa, former Interior Minister. Also, there are no almost ninety percent. Ah, where we? I'm a buyer, no, I'm a who. So I don't know if you want. Then all your phone. I can three months, two months back. I'll call opposition. No, talk to me. You know, I am Methodist school. I want to call school. I want to know call school. Now, school down on them say it. Mentia, I saw your classmates. I am a classmate. I'm a junior. When you now call school. Oh, Methodist. One school. Yeah, I am a junior. Now, school down on. Well, two two soon we are in chance to learn how to come as a force. I acquire another project. Oh, for three good years, and no one can walk or cut the sword. And to be beside me, say, and that's saying, I know better than your school. Then I'm sorry with your boy. All right, points made. Points made. The the lady says there are no jobs, and then um, the second one also says that. The, the second one, no, you go. I'm only retracing the question. And then the, 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 the other one was about a building, this one. This is from your school or something like that. You, they said there's a rumor going that that you slapped your father. Hello, hello. No, I, I did too, yeah, I did too. Okay, so hello. The man with the coolie high. And then before then, I did something. Hello. Hello. Speaking to the mic. Say, I'm doing the job. So I'll be at the frame. The person who does that, I don't know who pays the fare. I'm not going to say I'm too bad man. I do my best for you. Me a driver. I'm not going to say I do my best. Second question. If you go, if you do, go. I will cook you. I do cook. I pray them. I see you so. I go and see. They pay now. Why are you so interested in too bad man? Third question. I hear you. I hear you. I'm the casser. Because <laughs> It looks like the, the, the residents here, they are interested in your private life. So, so uh, they said there's a rumor that you slapped your father. Clarify it. 
I was, I was. And then was, somebody uh, also wants to know I, 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 what, what have you done yeah, for the constituents? Yeah, yeah, I will start by responding to a few things he said. Okay. He he made mention that let the he, mic get closer to you. Yeah, he, he mentioned that he mentioned that they are doing community farms. So yeah, that has drawn my attention to something. When NDC was in power. We, we had a community farm at Okra Kwajo. There was a community farm. At, at Okra Kwajo. Continue, please. Continue. Continue. We, we planted thick trees. Thick trees. When he came to power, he has cut all the trees to that, So there was a thick tree project yeah. that was built under the NDC. Uh, yeah, at Okra Kwajo. So the, the thick trees are there still there. Yeah, no, he has cut 3,000 of them. He, cut, he cut them. 3,000 for his personal use. 3,000 for his this, personal use. Yeah, when we come to power next year, he will go to prison. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, there's, a, there's, a, there's another question. Said. They said, they said, what have you done for our credit? No, That's no, no I, 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 I'll come to that. He said, uh, we, came, we said we are going to do one time premium for the heavy jurors, but we are not able to deliver. So, what shows that what I was saying he will be able to deliver? When Taumia was coming, he said he was coming to arrest the dollar. When he was coming, he said no borrowing. When he was coming, he said he was coming to stabilize, stabilize interest rates. When he was coming, he was saying he was coming to stabilize fuel prices. What happened? What has happened to all these things? So that's the question I want to ask him. Now, now, it seems the MPP is very desperate. Why? And they are afraid of me. They are, all they keep talking about is my personal life, my father, my father. So they said I slept my father, but my father sent me. Wait, wait. They said I slept my father. My father sent me to over 20 countries around the world just to study and be a good person. The person who didn't slap his father, his father came out to deny that he's not his father, he's not his son, and that he. You see, this a. Uh these are the reasons why I say that we shouldn't be doing personal no, no, attacks no, no, on no. each other. No, Please. they want to know. They want to know my job. They don't, they don't want to know what job they are doing. I was, I was. Please, please, let's tone down on their personal. No, so yeah. I know that is in reaction, but it's okay. Please, please, please. They say you slap your father. You did not. Or did you did you slap your father? Or you did not. I have never had any any fight with my father. When my father died. Actually, he went all his property to me. All right. If, if I ever they said, what do you do? Yeah. What's your job? Yeah. Before I came to Ghana to contest, I was doing a PhD in Germany when my father died. When my father died, I left my PhD in Germany. I came to take over his business. I'm doing construction. So I, you're a businessman? Yeah. You're a businessman? A businessman. I own a fuel station. I am doing construction. I put a school in home, home model school. Home model school. I put that school. I am producing sachet water. I have a fish farm. I'm creating jobs for the youth. I'm doing things that I'm a businessman. And all this you are doing it here. I'm doing it here. Creating jobs for the youth. Alright. Now, they said why how come I said the hospital in Nelson? It's not a hospital. Yes. I just the one 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 has 80 bed capacity. How come what you are You are saying that there are specific yes. um, benchmarks for yes, yes. as announced. Yes, yes. Okay. So how come they are building a 40 bed capacity hospital here and they are telling us it's a district hospital? We so, got, so you are saying this because it's a 40 bed capacity yes, hospital? It's not, stand, it's not It cannot be a district hospital. And we are going to build a proper district hospital next year. Won't come into power. All right. Another, another person, the free SHS. Free SHS. Yes. Yes. Free SHS, please go ahead, go ahead. He said, how are we going to review the free SHS? We are, are as opposed to them, what they are propaganda. We are not going to cancel free SHS. Okay. We are going to extend it to private schools. We are going to create sustainable funding for it. We are going to provide textbooks for the schools. We are going to provide food for the schools. We are going to abolish the double track system. This is what we are going to do. We are going to make it better for Ghanaians. All right. So, everything that he has said under the free SHS they are going to do, the MPP government is already doing it. So, what again are they going to do? Two. 
It is total falsehood. It is total falsehood that they had a state farm in Okra Kodo. You see, I am shocked to the bone that he can sit here and lie to the people of Okra. There, there's a forestation project which every government do, you know. They plant trees and all that. It was not a farm. It was a one-time activity. Was there a tick plantation? Yeah, there was an afforestation Did project. you cut the tick plantation? I have not cut the tick project. The farm made, we needed, it was, the Kwame Nkoma established state farms, like Kwamoso farms. We had Okra Kodo farms. The Okra Kodo farm for 37 years wasn't working. And there was an afforestation project on it. We needed to create jobs. And the land that we needed was not enough. So we have the Okra Kodo section. And then we have the Amafo section. If you go to the Okra Kodo section, it has started fruiting. The amount for session, we took out some of the tick trees to make room for the farm. And the farm is there. People so are where are the tick, the logs? No, like you were saying, I am happy that, I'm happy that they make mention that everything I do, I take it to Asinima Waterfalls. Because when you come to Accra, what can create jobs for Accra is tourism. We have a lot of waterfalls scattered. We have the great Okonkwanoche. We have beautiful mountains. We have sacred groups. Safari Valley has come here. If you are a district chief executive, and you do not leverage on this to develop your local economy, then you are not worth your source. So the tick trees so were used for? Development at Asimba Waterfall. Okay. And they keep saying it. If you ask the Forestry Commission, there's a letter that was written to them. So to the, do the, the locks were used to refurbish the area. Exactly. The yes. tick and locks. that is what I told you okay. with the pilot now project. Now the person's question. Now the other they question school, is that, school. you see, he was indicating yeah. that he had sought assistance and he didn't get it. It could be true, just as we could not help everybody at the time. But others have also testified that they have benefited. And everybody, right here, together with him, we commis we were here to grace the passing out of head, uh, hairdressers. You came here for passing, passing out, out of, ceremony for some hairdressers. Yes, and were they he was beneficiaries here, what, Yes, they were beneficiaries of the Octave project. And we gave them hairdryers to set them up. And he was there. Mm. So it is not possible to do everything within a short time. But we have demonstrated what we can do. And that is why. You see, they were heckling Kofi and Ponsa. In Okre, we do not discriminate. Kofi and Ponsa is a known NDC person. But unfortunately, he had an accident and became disabled. And we use persons with disability fund to set him up with a container. Showing that we do not discriminate. So you set him up? Yes. So for us, I am happy. I am happy that the members of NDC are beneficiaries of the government project. And I'm not sure the question is benefit. Yes, and you can ask him. So for us in our crate, it's a clear testimony that we do not discriminate. We are focused, we are developed our crate, irrespective of the political color. Once we can support, the once the, we can the help, building. and there's funding, the we will do it. And so that the, is the it. The last one, the building. They said, there's a, a gentleman who said the school. You yes. came to do something. The last thing is that, yes, the school that we were away. You which can school, see which school is that? Educo Methodist. Educo Methodist. They had one of the very public school? old public school, right? There's a public school. They have one of the very old dilapidated buildings. So in order for safety, the roofing was coming off and all that. So we had to take it out. As we speak, just this very Tuesday and Wednesday, we were able to cast out for six major projects to take out all schools under under please the social investment fund. We cut short for the construction of six unique classroom block toilet facilities at Apredi. We cut short the, for the construction of six unit block at my own school, the Educo Methodist. We cut short for the construction of a clinic in the NDC Candace's hometown. For all this while, they never have a health facility. We cut short for the construction of a clinic in the. We cut short for the construction of a, a, another teacher's quarters in Ebru. These are all feasible things that we have. Those projects, Under the SRF, do they have specific funding spe sources? Social investment fund. And, and TV3 was there when it was launched. And it is okay alone because of the lobbying and because of the, te uh, the person that Honorable Dan Kwaku Boche is. We're able to have six. Again, when it come to all the towns, we have bypasses that have been created. Edukom is a district capital. And when you come to Edukom and there's a major function like we're having here, it's mostly in our street. You will see that major serious traffic will happen in Edukom. As we speak, we have created a bypass for Edukom. And the SIF is going to construct 
a very big covert to oversee around the Inchonki area so okay. that we can have now, a bypass for now, Eduko. As, as These are all under the social I investment want you fund. To, uh, I give you three minutes. Look into the camera and give me your wrap-up comment for the good people of Edukrom. Okay, yes, and then you add your peace message. Okay, yes, for 15 years. Me about constituency secretary for six years. Me about DC for six years. Me assume me a Cassia Mamu, me a boy a foreigner or Kriama, me a my iron folk, me a Buama, and in yet a media boy, me Kriane, me a Menji DC, Malabi Asquia, Malabi iron folk, me Kube Fria Sofia, me to me Brebis of Wars of Raso, and near Bessini, and near Nankania, and near Nerol and Pet, and near both school builders. Me a Kriama say. If we are far, any person to say a simi ni any other boy, it will be an NSA doctor Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia. It will be an Sunna me, Nana Ado Kenneth. Ni any person a simi concert any of you so. Me kure asokuya. And this is far. Omo ya chu basa basa ne begana. No peace kwa omo yombe sign. Eto kumbu dede asokuya boko bedi akwe bedi alebe. At over there, but at over there, but one cat on my normal car on the one now. I saw quite to assume Jay, it's a question, but assume Jay so. Then you check a girl or grandma. Now, square and he said, Dan Butcher and a bunco, Mesumi a moment and now never to a single concept at Dan Butcher and a bar. Never me also to a cook for the last one. Men are square and pray in Pedanale. This is your camera. Speak to the constituent, the good people of Okre. This is your camera. Okre, my. I am Prince Henry Anubarebu. Mr. Amosel, for 24 years, the LPC to know I'm an MPP worker. That man to say, I 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 say, Eight years no, then you are in my Juma, Fusil to Bay, Oye, and the book remind. Time I do say, after twenty four years, I had my MPP no. Time I do say, I say, as a science, I know. Naya Chenji, Naya my Andy Sequanso, Nia Chenji, Andy Sibet, Nia Yabong. Eighty five percent of youth in Okri, Omonia Jumaya, your Baba created Juma Mokri mind, your Baba improved your school system, your Baba improved your healthcare system. Miss Rock remind me who I am for, me respect you, I am for. I have a friend, I'm in fact, in Munina, Muta Machi, Namu Tuabama, John Jamani Mahama, Namu Satuabama, Prince Henry, and you are ready. Now I am a strong, Mita Massive. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you very much as well. Thank you very much. Thank you all. This has been the edition of Community Manifesto coming to you live, just close to the Methodist Church, right here at Okre. And, uh, well, for Community Manifesto, you can always watch us live on TV3 New Day. Certainly, you can also get the latest update on TV3 Ghana because we are your election command center. Thank you very much for this edition. We'll be back with Community Manifesto from another community. Thank you.